U.S. consumers are saving money at a rate not seen in almost 40 years. That's according to a report from the Bureau of Economic Analysis. The savings rate hit 13.1 percent in March, up 5 percent from the previous month. Consumers are also spending a lot less. The report said spending in March fell 7.5 percent. Personal income also fell 2 percent. The Bureau noted the full impact of the coronavirus pandemic on the economy couldn't be captured in the initial estimate. And robocallers will now face penalties for violating the law and harassing consumers with unwanted robocalls. The Federal Communications Commission issued an order ending the practice of warning most robocallers. Warnings were previously required by law until the Traced Act was enacted in December 2019. The action also increases the maximum fines and extends the statute of limitations during which robocallers can be fined for violating the Telephone Consumer Protection Act and for spoofing violations. Spoofing is the practice of mimicking local phone numbers. And bookworms rejoice. The Fargo Public Library will begin offering residents no contact curbside pickup on Monday at all three library locations. The buildings will remain closed due to the to the public due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but curbside pickup will run Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can place a hold request starting Monday. Each library card is limited to 10 holds. For more information about how to place a hold as well as the pickup processes, you can find this story on the VNL News app. And if you don't yet have a library card, we have information about how to apply as well. Just click on this story. Well, still to come, the fight for equality took a blow this week. The latest in the U.S. women's national team's fight for equal pay and the NBA makes a major decision about this year's draft. The latest next.